As our days are longer and hotter, you may be drawn out to any one of the Highland Lakes. Unlike Ladybird Lake and Lake Austin, Lake Travis constantly fluctuates based on rainfall. Since we've been dry lately, the level of Lake Travis has dropped. Where I'm standing now, this is where the lake levels should be this time of year. And as you can see, it's uh, several feet below. Just because you can see all of this exposed limestone doesn't mean there's going to be a problem when you go out boating. There's plenty of water to go around. The last time Lake Travis was full was back in October of 2018. With water levels around 11 feet below average for this time of year, the lake is still so large that you're unlikely to notice a more crowded lake with less water in it. There's no shortage of areas for people to go if they want to swim with their family or they want to sail or they want to, you know, surf. There's plenty of room out here. For Rhett Scudder, who owns beachfront boat rentals in Valente, he has to battle the perception that less rain means less fun on the water. It's super deep, so if you stay boating in the middle of the river channel or the middle 80, 90% of the water, you're fine. When you get towards the edges, which is the flooded part that was created by the dam in 42, is where you get shallow water, maybe you'll get a tree stump or a rock or something like that. That shallow water may mean you're more at risk of hitting a tree stump or rock, but boating at idle speeds where that water isn't as deep is always a good idea. Last year, Scudder's business was about 20% of normal due to COVID. But so far this spring, it's as busy as pre-COVID times and he's optimistic for the warmer months. So I think it will be a busy summer. Um, there's a lot of pent up energy for people, you know, wanting to get outside. On Lake Travis, meteorologist Nick Bannon, KXAN News.